Hey there everyone, uh, I'm Matty Ice, and uh, we're going to go through some Fortnite Save the World gameplay. Uh, so, let's get started. I've already played a little bit here, just to bring you up to speed. I've not seen too many videos on the Save the World play, it's all been the Battle Royale, which is fine. PvP is always more fun than PvE for most people. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through basically how this goes. So, on your play tab, it just shows you your most current storyline mission. So like currently I have to kill five mist monsters in a 15 plus zone and complete three 15 plus missions. Uh, the 15 is this level up here in the top left. That's my level currently is 15, but then the missions themselves have levels. Uh, you increase that by leveling up your hero, getting better weapons and gear. And I'll go through that in a second. Here's the map, and you see there's a couple different zones. Uh, I'm currently in the green one. This is your home base, uh, and as you progress through the story, you unlock more and more of the map. There are different types of missions, so there's the van mission, where you help launch a van. Uh, which one's this one? Fight the storm, uh, you basically defend a point. I mean, they're all defend the point missions, but they have different categories. Uh, and then there's an item drop, basically. It's kind of like a, if you ever played Destiny, it's like a war sat. Like it, it falls, it's a satellite that falls down, you got to download some data. Again, just defending the point. Um, as you can see, you, as you're close to the middle here, this is a 3 mission. This is a 5, 9, 15. It shows that over in the uh, left side. Uh, there are a couple red ones that will show up. Those are just suggesting like hey you're not quite ready for this or you better have a good team uh, let's get to the heroes tab now so these are all the heroes that I've unlocked down here uh, I'm currently playing as an outlander there's basically four different hero types there's the soldier uh, straight up shoot him shoot him up kind of character uh, more health than shields the outlander I believe is the one with the most shields uh, they're kind of a techie build where like they use the like shock tower and teddy these are special abilities that uh, the characters have uh, then there's the builder who is uh, more tanky related and they focus on you know buildings and making defenses uh, and then i actually don't have one on me now but there's then the ninja class who is more uh, agility and melee based uh, but I'm gonna stick with my outlander I'm just kind of playing them getting used to them um, I was doing the soldier for a while uh, squads so when you progress through the game you can rescue these survivors who can go into squads they basically just give you little bonuses um, if I click into one here so like these guys are giving me you know shield bonus, trap damage, range defense, as well as offense, resistance, and tech. Uh, these are, you know, things that give you bonuses to certain perks. So there's four main perks. There's offense, resistance, tech, tech and fortitude. Um, it's basically just, you know, health, shield, damage, and then tech is like uh, trap damage, gadget damage, you know. Um, so if you notice here, it's got leader match. So there's certain things, like this guy's a doctor. Uh, so apparently he likes this guy who's dependable. You can tell because he's got a check. Uh, dependable, doesn't like this guy, he's competitive. So little things like that, they just give you more bonuses if they're a leader match. Um, as you progress through the story, you'll unlock more of these. And uh, it's basically just helping you become more powerful. Defender squads. Uh, you can basically take certain defenders that you find throughout the world and uh, drop them into the actual game. So, like, uh, if I go back in here, actually. So, this one right here, this epic defenderman rifleman, I have them defending my shield base, which, if you. Uh, back to the map is this place so everyone gets one of these it's kind of like your main hub 
and uh, every now and then you have missions to defend it. I've got my riflemen at my base. Uh, it doesn't matter until you're actually playing the mission. Um, there's nothing like outside of the mission that they are defending against. It's just all in game. Uh, so that's basically the squads, uh, expedition squads. You can send like your heroes out to get resources. So um, let's, see. let's go to the boat. So I could uh, get some rescued survivors. I can prepare expedition. You know, uh, it's got a power of 55. So the high, the closer I get to 55, the more likely I am to succeed. It tells you at the top here, success chance. So if I throw this guy in here as a 10, I only have a 19% success chance. Um, I can then also double click. Uh, I can then also throw in another 10. It's up to 37. But if I throw in a 21, oh, all of a sudden it's 56. So you see the higher numbers, the better success chance you get. Uh, but I'm going to... I just don't really like these. Like, there's nothing useful for me. Um, you can get some recruits, you can get some resources. There's nothing, like, amazing that I've seen so far. So I'm just not even going to do one. Alright, so this is uh, kind of like your main page, the armory. Um, you can go through, look at all your heroes, you can level them up. So I'm playing this lady right here, so I can upgrade her. I don't have enough experience down here though, but uh, leveling them up just increases their uh, health, shield, damage, and it also unlocks some of these things. So once I get her, t so she's level 6 of 10, once I get her to 8, it increases the range of one of her gadgets. And you know, it just get, it makes them stronger overall. All survivors. Again, these are the people that you can put in squads. Uh, all defenders. Those are the people you can put into the game with you to help you defend a point. The backpack. This is where you have all of your resources. Uh, so literally anything you weapon-wise or trap-wise or even just like stuff like crafting-wise. It's it's all in here. You have a backpack limit, so you, that's the only thing that's been holding me back occasionally. Um, some of the stack limits are 200. Which, obviously, you know, I've got more than 200 nuts and bolts, so that's gone over to a second slot. Um, what else? Storage. So this is like a, a vault storage. I can only have up to five right now, so if there's something that I want to keep for later but aren't really using right now, I can throw it in here. Uh, resources. This just shows you, like, basically it's like in-game currency, kind of, and then, like, experience and um, leveling up things. So like to level up uh, certain heroes, you need you know pure drops of rain, and you need a manual. So all that's kind of housed there. Transforming, you can actually get schematics to transform items into other items. So if I wanted to, let's go with this guy right here. I can get a ranged weapon, a blue ranged weapon, by putting anything in here. So I can sacrifice heroes, defenders, uh, let's go, so the, there's certain types of uh, survivors that are leaders, and that's how you get those leader bonuses, and then there's regular ones. So uh, this is saying that it needs to go up to 16 to get just like a, it goes up to 80, but I'll show you like one at a time here, I guess. Um, so let's find something that's 16, here we go. Um, That's 16. Now let's throw in a, a wiki. So now, oh, that's actually weird. The 16 didn't look like it applied. I've actually didn't, I've never seen that before. Here, I'll just throw in a uh, one of these guys. There you go. As you see, it's going up to 48 now. That's really weird. I wonder why it's doing that. There you go. So 80 of 80 max. Um, so as you see, it'll give me a rare range weapon plus 2,000 schematic eight, uh, experience. If I take that out, uncommon range weapon, 1,600 schematic XP. Um, it also takes research points to do this, as well as sacrificing your items. So it's just one way you can get weapons and get rid of some extra garbage. 
Also, if you get extra schematics, you can throw them into your book here. So like, I have this uh, hero I could put into the book. It basically gets rid of your ability to use it. Um, but it, uh, it gives you uh, bonus rewards. So like floor traps. If I wanted to, I could get rid of my retractable, rare retractable spike floor trap. So I would no longer be able to craft these, but I would then get uh, some experience towards the next reward. And my next reward is a, looks like a rare defender. Oh, it looks like two of them actually. So you do get rewards for doing that. It's a great way to get rid of duplicate schematics. Um, and schematics are literally anything. You know, weapons, traps. Um, I think you can get so pretty much just weapons and traps um, that you can craft. So if I wanted to go to my backpack here and I could craft any of these weapons on the left side, um, when you click on it, it tells you your requirements. Most of these you find in game playing, um, but the blast powder and duct tape, you can craft yourself. So if you go to the crafting menu, as you can see over here on the left side, I can craft five blasting powder, for those resources, I can craft you know, one duct tape for these resources. Uh, and you can also, you have to craft your ammo or find it out in the wild, and that's what the nuts and bolts are for. Uh, you know, there's different types of ammo, each gun uses different ones, it shows you on the gun itself. So like shotgun uses the shotgun ammo. The sword actually has its own just durability, it doesn't really use energy. Uh, this assault rifle uses the medium bullets. So as you can see, each one kind of takes its own. So, all right, so that's all there is to that uh, skills tab. So there is, as you, well, we'll go back here. As you see, there's you know multiple skill trees and then there's also a separate skill tree for research. Um, these are actually pretty important here. So when you click into it, you know, this allows me to use a constructor. Otherwise, I could only use like the soldier. But you get that like that's your first thing, so you get that pretty early on. Um, you know, increase your mining tool. Allows you to use some uh, di different survivors in your squads. Unlocks research, which I'll go over shortly. But as you, see, as you progress through here, you know, it just unlocks the ability to use things. And a lot of these are story related, so it will explain it in a mission. Uh, but once you kind of reach this part where it starts to branch out, you can pick your own path. So if you go up, uh, ranged combat, that's pretty much the soldier. Um, and then when you get to the end here, it unlocks, unlocks the ability to make them a two-star soldier. So it just, again, makes them better, lets you evolve. Um, building, that's the constructor people. Scavenging, that's the outlander and melee combat ninja. If you are ever confused, you can just click the two star and it tells you, oh, you know, ninja rarity upgrade. Uh, also, you have to get to this point before you can even use the ninja in combat. So you may have a ninja hero, but not be able to use them. Um, it's kind of frustrating at times, but you know, same thing for the outlander. You can't use them until you unlock that one. Uh, going down the middle here, obviously it's just generic, kind of every everyone can use perks. Um, and at the end here, uh, unlocks the second skill tree, but you have to also have completed this quest, which is actually pretty deep into the, the quest tree. All right, so let's go over research. I'm just gonna go ahead and collect my research points here. And you see that adds it to my, my pool at the top and I'm generating 54 an hour. Uh, so the first tr uh, tier here, you know, again, you can see the four categories, offense, fortitude, tech, resistance. Each one has their own benefits. Um, you just kind of have to look through it, figure out what you want. The squares are the uh, squad uh, people, so like it, it allows you to add an extra survivor into a squad. So this adds a uh, fire team alpha squad slot. This adds an EMT squad slot, you know, scouting party, engineering squad. So each one gives different perks. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the tier two. I just unlocked this one. Um, so the first one you get obviously just lets you go branch out into any of the four that you want. 
but it also lets you uh, generate and store more uh, research points so it kind of helps you out there because uh, these are more expensive so this is 1600 for the first one and if I go back into here these first few they were uh, I think 350 because you know, get started but then anything after that it's 800 so it doubles the cost of researching just right away so again though it's kind of important you know it just helps you get stronger all right so we're going to the loot screen here um, it's got some loud music so I'm gonna you know brace yourself um, so you can obviously buy these with in-game currency um, I'm I have 1425 I'm not going to like you can get some good stuff so if you look here it kind of shows you preview you know it's got some pretty good heroes in there but you know I'm not really looking for a new one at the moment but this is also where you get to the event tab so they're running the spring event right now so that's what the uh, clover leaves are so as you see these are pretty expensive you get this just through playing the game you know you'll just get those um, and then weekly items. So the event items actually do rotate though. Um, I think it's every two weeks, but they do also rotate. And if you go to the bottom of the weekly items, uh, you can see it's using these uh, silver or copper coins, basically. Um, you get those through daily quests. Uh, go to the store, you can buy more, you know, or you can upgrade to the deluxe. I bought this uh, regular one. And then the quests. So this is, you know, you got your main quests, your tutorial quests, you know, into the storm. So these are all just quests and quests and quests. You can go through here, but as you can see, like, if I did this one, it's a daily quest. I get 100 daily coins and 50 V-Bucks. So it's just things that you can work towards, but they do happen over time. Just You just got to play the game. All right, so I'm going to actually hop into a game oh. so if I just click play now it takes me to um, just any mission that fulfills those categories where I might find a mist monster and it's a 15 plus zone it immediately starts the matchmaking process so it just looks for other people playing similar zones and it'll just drop me into one or it'll start up a new lobby for me and then other people can join my game uh, at the top here, you can see my little experience bar. Uh, when that reaches a full bar, you get another skill point, and that's how you can get more. Uh, you do get daily bonus XP, so you'll see after completing this mission, uh, I can just go right into uh, my skill tree and I'll unlock that. I'm actually going to switch up, switch up my gadgets. So these are things you lock and unlock in the skill tree and they just help you out in the game. It's loading in here. Usually loads pretty quickly. It's not like too bad as you see. Just, you Mars know, is standing by to gather storm intel, Commander. Let's launch that van. Fill her up if you be so kind. I need to get right. back up in those If you look at my mini map here, you can see way. there's an exclamation point Make that sure I'm nearby. Any blue glow you that kind of helps you determine um, your your uh, quests and whatnot. So I know, and that also highlights things in yellowish orange. So I have to uh, I have to destroy some fire trucks for one of my quests. So that's why those are highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and destroy those. Uh, the blue circle allows you to do more damage. And yeah, see, and the fire trucks also get highlighted on the map. I don't know why it didn't originally. Alright. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, okay, so you see the arrows up top. So I have to go up on the top here. This looks like the kind of research equipment to get Mars that one. uses. And it's still running. This could be Carlos's work. Ooh, there's Again, no. Highlighted in yellow. To I need to hit it. Apparently this guy does too. Ooh, well, I would have already pressed it if I knew where it was, so I guess you win. Nope. Alright. Here. 
this construction site. Uh, so I'm just gonna build up. Uh, our force under attack. There we go. Another research station. Awesome. You found another of Carlos's research setup. And oh, I'm getting shot at. Here. But there's a note. May not make it through this, Lars, but I need you to know one thing. Boots are not hard rock. Whew. Lars is on the wrong side of this one. Boots are prog at best. At best! This does not do much damage. At range. There we go. Finally got her. And you see, you can find ammo. Um, but if you ever need to, you can always craft it. It does explain a lot of that process um, in the tutorial. So I'm just gonna drop down here. You do take fall damage. It can actually be pretty bad. So gotta be careful with that. Right. Uh, as you can see on the left side, underneath uh, my name in the top left corner, it looks like we've got some guys joining in. Um, so we have a full team now for so, it, I created the lobby for me, but then obviously other people joined in. It's having me destroy these cars for a quest as well um, to get these parts. Uh, oh, yeah, I need two more of those. Getting reports that your fort has uninvited and then I should be able to actually build a hoverboard, which is basically just a way to get around the map faster. I've only seen a few people with them so far, uh, but it is like I'm only level 15. Like it's pretty early game-wise. Boom. Alright, awesome. So you see it on the highlight of that, because I no longer need those parts. But that means that those other exclamation points are probably... Oh, look, there's a hoverboard. These are probably fire trucks or research stations. Oh, these are probably research stations. This is in the middle of nowhere. If you look on the right side above the thing where it says ride the lightning, um, those three bars are how you can, it, after the quest is over, you can get extra bonus uh, items and bonus rewards. Uh, that is how you do it. So you max out those bars to the best of your ability, which you will see after this mission is over. Oh, lovely. Close call, big squall. Made it for now. Won't be long. Not at my best. For safety now, head southwest. Huh. Musicians always got a song in their heart. Nice cutoffs. I tried to collect this blue glow, which is something you need for the uh, quest. Mm. Like the or the mission, not the quest. You can search just about anything. Um, you can find uh, traps, schematics, uh, a lot of things. Weapons themselves. Oh, you know, actually, I'm just gonna throw down. Uh... So this is uh, an ability that the Outlander has. It just throws down like a mechanical teddy bear. Shoot anything within four tiles to start out with, um, and as you see, it was very helpful just to clear out that group of zombies. Oh, we got another one, probably. 
I find these very annoying. Just because they're not like difficult, they're just time consuming. The one good thing though is it does give you two blue glow. Somewhat useful, but I think it's not really worth the time it spend. Another note. Too much light pollution. I wish someone would turn all the lights off one of these nights. Well, I have good news and bad news, Carlos, from the past. Okay, uh, let's pull up the map. So the more map you discover, the more of uh, that bonus reward at the end you get. So I'm not sure if you saw earlier, I had a pop-up said 50% was explored. So I'm just gonna help explore some more over here. Uh, mine resources. Oh, here we go. So this is the other gadget that this lady has. The shock tower. It's pretty useful. Not as useful as the bear, I don't think. Oh, it looks like you got rid of the sword that I had equipped. I don't know why. So, not sure why I'd automatically decide to get rid of my other sword, but I'm not using this one apparently. We have just throw this guy out there and help clear out the waves. It doesn't really cost me anything to use the gadgets, so why not, right? I was a bear. Every weapon has durability, so the more you can save on the durability, the better. Alright, so if you look on the right side again, um, you can see those three bars, they've progressed more. They're all silver, and it looks like the first one's about to be gold. That's combat, so the more damage you do to zombies, the more that increases. Shooting this guy. You see it says plus six on there. This is actually a survivor. I'm going to drop some bombs. So saving the survivor, you know, get your reward, and it's also uh, part of the quest. So as you see now, that first bar is gold. Uh, so that means we've done, you know, gold damage worth of combat. Uh, the second bar is building. So that's how many things you've built, like walls, floors, stairs, traps, all that fun stuff. And then the third one is actually the harder one to like progress. That is. Uh, resource gathering. So, here, I'll mine this tree. Ooh, see, plus one to that. And then if you search bushes like this, plus two. So, you can see why that one's kind of hard to do. Because you can only get like plus one and plus two on that at a time, and it's very uh, time consuming as well. Whereas obviously shooting something is quick and easy. And building is also pretty quick. Uh, the higher level structures you build, so you can build wood, brick, metal. Uh, the higher level structures you build, the more points go into the building one. Just show you here. So I got wood stairs, plus six. Stone stairs, plus eight. Survivor in here. Easy peasy. Uh, there are these little things around the map. I could break that and then it would uh, split into four pieces randomly in the area. I could break all four of those to get a, another reward. I don't really feel the need to at the moment. The rewards are usually just resources, which I currently have a good amount on. I 
we just about discovered everything on the map here. Looks like a little bit on the left side, where I went down earlier. Yep, there we go. We got the whole map. It's a free silver badge. It does help. Um, in the end, you'll see. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it can make a difference between reward uh, levels. Alright, so I think we've done just about everything we need to do. We're gonna go ahead and... This is a Ride the Lightning mission. So that means we add Blue Glow to a van. Uh, Lars's van, to be specific. going to build some brick here just so I can help increase that. Uh, that building level. but it's also a, a quest for oops. a quest so I can get like a quest rewards as opposed to just that resource box so as you just saw you can easily destroy these searchable things if you do you do not Storm get what's get inside of it uh, kind of sucks I got some zombos in here uh, this character doesn't have grenades. Uh, the first soldier you start with has grenades. It's kind of nice, actually. Alright, so nobody's activated the van yet, but it looks like they've started building some defenses. Floor. And as soon as I can get these zombos with me, I'm gonna put down floor trap. Oh my god, oh my god. Nothing great at the moment. But that'll at least help. Now I can kind of forget about that side. It's more or less covered. Ooh, we got a big guy. You break it, you bite. Only use bullets.
see how the uh, traps work over here. I kind of wanted one of the retractable floor spikes, but that's fine. You see, they take you know some damage. See in the little mini map in the top right, all the purple areas where the uh, guys are going to be coming from. We're just going to repair these, though. All right. Oh, some idiot made stairs. Why? stairs, but it's not a great idea. You see they can easily use those. Twitch just standing there doing nothing. Gotta love it. I'm gonna repair that. Thirty seconds left to something. go. Oh, good. I was thinking about doing that myself. Ceiling traps are pretty powerful. So this guy put in looks like some gas traps. So any guy that comes through there gets gassed. Ooh, this is bad. Challenge success! Good job, team! 
so smashers can just blow right through any walls. It's uh, pretty brutal, no matter how strong the wall. At least all the ones I've seen. Alright. So, these are the rewards I was telling you about before. You get your mission experience. Somebody used a boost, so you get some boost, and then they get a daily bonus, which as you see is pretty hefty. So I got two skill points, which I'll use later. Exploring the map, you know, defending the van. Not go for building to defend the van. Actually launch the van, you know. It adds up pretty quick. Oh, there we go. Level five, nice. I've never gotten a six. Five is actually pretty good too. Four is usually the common one. And then uh, you can invite people, but I at home. And then as soon as you return to your home base, it uh shows you what you get in the chest. So got some survivors. Uh, there's that gold uh, event currency. Got a crafting item and some uh, schematic XP. It's all right, not bad. These are the quests that I completed. So I got 100 of the currency. And I got a hoverboard now, so I can explore without depleting energy. All right. So you just go a little bit faster. And um, a boost pad. Interesting. And then as you can see over here, we only we didn't kill that third one, so we only got two of the mist monsters, and then we did one of three 15 plus missions. So that's how you progress the story, and you can check out the future ones. So before I uh, end it there, I'm going to go into my quest or my uh, skill tree here. So as you see, I can't do this one until I get that Astro Van mission done, which is pretty far out there. So what I can do instead, I can increase my resistance, which gives me shield and shield rate region. And then um, building health. Nah, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'll go building health just cause it gives me access to this next one. So, I mean, none of them are really bad choices. There's just priorities basically. All right, and um, that'll be it for this video. You know, I hope you liked it. Um, I'm gonna try and do a couple more of these because I, like I said earlier, I haven't seen too many. Um, so that was a launching the van mission. So I'll I'll try and show you the other ones here: the fight the storm and then the recovery. So uh, that'll be it for now. Uh, see you in the next one, guys.